let's say you have a problem. I want to visualize and create a map of all the parking spots in a city. So you say, okay, first job is how do I find the data for all the parking spots? One of the source of this kind of data set mapping data is OpenStreetMap. Go to OpenStreetMap and there are many tools that allow it to extract data from OpenStreetMap, convert it to a vector layer and use it. There's a package called OSMNX, which is a really useful package for working with OpenStreetMap data. It allows you to download data from that. So LeafMap says many people want to render OSM data on LeafMap. It gives you some helper functions to work with OpenStreetMap data via OSMNX in the background. So let's see how we can create this map of all the parking locations in the city of Bangalore using LeafMap. We're using LeafMap with the OSMNX. So we install all of that. We import that. Again, we're not downloading any data. We are just downloading through OpenStreetMap. OpenStreetMap has lots and lots of data and they are all tagged with different types. You can go to this wiki page and say, I want to get data for, let's say, airports. An airport is tagged as Aeroway equals Aerodrome. So you, that's what you query in OSM. So if you want hospitals, you'll see it'll be amenity dot equals to hospitals. So you need to find the tag that you want from OSM from this page. Some of those tags are not obvious. They are in this project evolved in Britain. So a lot of this, if you are in the US, it will be kind of terminology will be different, but you can refer to this wiki, which is linked from here and you can find your tags that you want to download. I want to download the parking data. So parking is tagged with amenity equals parking, parking space or parking entrance in OSM. And they can be either points or polygons. So a parking lot will be a polygon, a single location where it's parking, it'll be a point. So you can just say OSM GDF from place. There are multiple functions. If you look at the documentation, you say, give me a place name and I'll get data for these tags. So you say in Bangalore, get me all the data for parking spots. Change it to your city name or your region name. If you want other tags, say, I want amenity of this and I want highway equals primary. That means it'll give you all the major roles. So you can change the tags that you want for your data. This will give you a data frame. And let's see the data frame that you get. You get 1300 features that we read from OpenStreetMap and you get the, the name, the location, the, the name of the parking lot that you have, underground, overground, lots of attribute data. So OpenStreetMap has a lot of rich information around that. Recently, somebody wanted some EV charging stations. You can just query for EV charging stations. You'll get whatever is in the OSM database as vector layer. So again, this is a great starting point for your project where you want some data. So we get a parking zones, which is the polygons and parking locations. We can save it to a geo package if you wanted to as different layers, if you want to use it in a GIS. But what we want to do is we have this geo data frame. Let's render it on top of a leaf map. So we did a leaf map. I want the boundary data for the region. It's like I want a city of Bangalore boundary. I don't have the trade file. I can just say add OSM from GeoCo. It'll just add that from OSM directly. So we say, I want this city boundary from OpenStreetMap. It'll download it as an object and just render it directly on LeafMap. So a lot of helper functions that will allow you to kind of create stuff very fast. If I switch it to like Paris or something, it'll just get a Paris boundary. If your data is not there, so you say, I'm trying something, it's not working. Go to openstreetmap.org, search for the place. The place exists in OpenStreetMap with that spelling, you'll get this. OpenStreetMap, will, if you go to openstreetmap.org and search, it'll also suggest, oh, did you mean this spelling of the city? So again, you may have to play around with the exact spelling to get to match. But if you know a place that exists in OSM, you can directly get this here. And finally, you can see we have a leaf map map, right? We have a leaf map, a folium map through leaf map. We can use add GDF to add our geodata frames on top of it. But that is a limited API. I want to use more you know, styles that are available through GeoPandas. So now on a leaf map map, we can use the GeoPandas explore function and render it on this M here. So we have a leaf map map. We can say add a base map, add the boundary. And now I say we are parking zones dot explore and we can render this. We are parking locations, which is point data. We've not seen how to do the point data yet. Point data, you can specify the marker type circle, triangle, whatever markers you want, radius, colors, etc. So now if I run this, I'll have a map with both the parking locations in orange and the parking, uh, parking zones in orange and parking locations in yellow on the map. 
And you can see now I have got all my parking locations in Bangalore created directly from OSM. And since this is our interactive map, I can explore this, learn this, and use this in a project. Try this with your city. So switch just a city name and see if you are able to create this map for a city. Play around with the tags and see if I want to create a map for your project or get data for a project. This would be a good start. Refer to this wiki if you need to figure out what's the right tags. Also, go to openstreetmap.org and search for the place. So when I search for, let's say, Paris, whatever I get here on the map, right? This is the boundary. So this is what I'll get when I say Paris. In some cities, some states, it might be spelled differently. It may be a different object. So you may have to find the name of the object that you want for your city.